Uh, hello everyone, welcome to AFS Hackers. I'm Afshan. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the Previce machine of Hack the Box. I have already started my machine and here is my IP address. Let's copy it and let's scan the machine. So our Nmap scan is completed and as you guys can see on port 22, the SSH service is open and on port 80, the HTTP Apache server is open. So let's see the web server. So this is a basic login page. Let's try admin admin okay invalid username okay so let's start our gobuster to find hidden directories 10.10.11.104 is our ip address and we are finding the php page and here's the word list okay and it is a url let's hit enter login page has a 200 status code that is success code um, the next page is nave.php uh, it also has 200 status code so let's see so these are the navigations right so let's click on home Okay, accounts, okay, create accounts, okay, files, website status, okay, so these links are keep getting redirected to the login.php page, so let's start the Bob Suite to see the web request. Let me start my Bob Suite and go to this proxy tab and intercept is on. I have already set up the proxy and let's click on this create account link. Okay. Let's click on action and intercept this request. Do intercept. A response to this request so click on it and forward the request as you guys can see here we have found that 302 so we have to change this particular code to the success code that is 200 ok and forward the request and as you guys can see we have found this accounts.php page and now we can create our account only admins should be able to access this page so we have successfully found the page to create an account so let's create our username that is Afshan in my case okay create user oh oops intercept is off Okay, option password is also option login. So as you guys can see, provides file hosting. Let's go to this account tab. Okay, files. There is a uploaded file that is site backup. Let's save it. Okay, uh, so let's go to the downloads and list the file as you guys can see here is the site backup.zip so let's move this site backup zip file to the device directory okay let's unzip this okay so these are the file uh, let's go to this config.php 
Okay. Let's scan the config.php file. And here we have got the MySQL user and password. Uh, and the DB is revised. Let's copy it, paste it here. We'll also check this logs.php. And as you guys can see, uh, we have found this ex exe function or exec function. We can abuse it for code execution, like it is accepting the user input. So let's see. Uh, so let's go to this file logs.php page. And this is a file delimiter that is accepting commas. So let's see the web request in our Bob suite. Okay. Submit. Okay. So it is accepting the comma. Okay. Now go to this request and send to this request in repeater and make sure you turn this off go here and we have found this out dot blog file save this file okay go to this repeater and we can upload our payload so you guys can search it on google that is one line reverse shell and here's the pen tester monkey reverse shell cheat sheet and we are going to use this particular payload so let's see so here is the payload which we are going to use and make sure you are using your inet address here so let's check our inet address and your inet address will be different set up our netcat and then we be one two three four this is the port number that is one two three four we are listening so let's set up our netcat on one two three four copy this payload and paste this payload here And send the request and let's see and yes we have got our shell let's write who am I w w data okay and let's check this out file this is the out dot log file let's open it and as you guys can see there is a malware user is present in the system so let's copy it paste it here okay so let's write the following command mysql hyphen use for root user and this is the database we are accessing here is the query let's hit enter let's copy the password paste the password here and yes this is the username and the password so let's copy it paste it here and let's copy this particular hash uh, so let's start our hash cat to crack this hash okay so i have already cracked this particular hash so let's write uh, we will use this particular switch to show the crack hashed and as you guys can see this is the hash and here is the crack password that is i love cody uh, 112235 and the exclamation mark so let's copy it and paste it here and let's ssh with this malware user because we have got uh, we have got his password now let's ssh 
password is this copy it and paste it here okay now let's see the pwd home directory we are in the home directory let's list the file let's get this user flag user.txt okay let's copy it okay let's submit the flag okay so we have owned this user flag now let's continue let's check the privileges of this particular user sudo hyphen l here is the password copy it So user malware may run the following command that is opt script access backup dot sh. Let's go to this cd opt script and let's list and yes we have got this access backup dot sh. Let's run this binary. okay so as you guys can see this is accepting this dot gz file so let's create one uh, gzip file in the temp folder so let's go to this temp folder okay so let's create this uh, gzip file here and uh, here is our inet address okay now let's provide the execute permission okay now let's set up the path as an environment variable okay and let's set up our netcat vp okay so we are listening on 9080 port and dot backup okay so now let's run the binary and let's see and yes we are root now so let's go to the root directory okay sorry so here we got our flag let's get it root dot txt Okay, let's copy it. Submit the flag. Okay. Uh, so we have successfully pawn the provise machine of Hack the Box, and I hope you like this video, guys. If you did, then Share this video with your friends and colleagues. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and keep hacking.